Now, there's a really cool analogy I like to use during recessions, and it's the t-shirt theory. And the reason why I use it is because if you see a t-shirt you have that's worth $100 and you buy, 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 and then you see the next week drops to $80 because it's on sale, you're not like, oh, I'll just sell my shirt for $80 now. Instead, you're like, oh, let me buy some more t-shirts because I really like that shirt. The shirt hasn't changed, it's the exact same shirt, but instead, let's buy more and more of it because it's really cool. But this switches with stocks. I don't know why people think differently with stocks. If you see a stock you like for $100 and it drops to $80, why would you not buy it again? Even if it goes down to 60, why would you not buy it again? It's the exact same stock. And this is the same with the S&P 500. On average, during a bear market, it drops just, uh, just under 30% and it lasts about nine and a half months each recession. And this even worsens when it's both a recession and during a bear market, which is likely what we're gonna be in, and that drops to 34.8%. Now with the information, same analogy, drops 34.8%, are you gonna buy more or are you gonna sell it all? How about we buy more? Because in the following years, one year after the recession reaches its trough, it goes up 40%. It goes up 40%. And two years later from the trough of the recession, it goes up 54%. So this is a really good analogy that we need to use because the average investor will see it drop 30% and think, oh shit, I've gotta sell this now. Instead, how about we switch our mindset and be like, oh, I like this company, it's dropped and it's on sale, Let's buy more of it because I like it either way.